put a base coat and you let it dry in between coats and then you have the desired color. Now, everyone says, well, how am I gonna polish my own nails? And it's complicated. It's true, I mean, I, I challenge too, but remember, whatever mistake you make, there's nail polish remover, so, and you know what? If oil else fails, you could always take it off. But another alternative that's really great that um, it's always my go-to thing when I don't have time to dry and color is that I clean up my cuticles like this, I put a base coat and a top coat in between and just three treatment system, you're good to go. I mean, it looks elegant, clean, chic, but we always like the color. So just like, you know, the most important thing about any color, whether it's light or dark, is that you wanna bend the brush so that it's flexible, pliable, so that not, you know, amount of nail polish is really important. So I will always have a little dot. And then I'm gonna figure out if this is the right amount for me or not. It's not, I need a little bit more. So I'm gonna just dip it again. And then I'm gonna go through my cuticles and make little curves. Like that. Now, because this hand is not polished yet, so I, this is my chance to clean up. Now, when you have this hand, you have to be careful because you have nail polish. And this is the amount I always dot. And I'm gonna fan the brush. This is another technique. Go into your cuticles. And then you do it like this too. And there's, there's so many techniques that it's good for everyone that not one thing is like, you have to do it this way. Whatever, it's completely, you know, comfortable for you. And the first coat, you don't really have to worry that much because you're gonna have time to sort of my second chance per se, for a second coat to fix. And then I'm gonna run over my tips a little bit because I do type a lot. And it's really important that I do this a little bit more so that I don't get a tip wear. one spot, so it's not a big deal, but I'll think. You'll see my pinky anchoring. That just gives me more support and steadiness than you'll see when I do my thumbs because there's no way I could do my thumbs like this. So when you do it flat out like that, this is another technique that people do, just on stripes. Now, either way is fine. But it, I mean, it's really a personal preference. But I'm so used to anchoring my pinky that it, I'm lost if I don't have anything to anchor my support brush. dry in between coats. Then this is my chance to be really just kind of clean up a bit, see what I could save and clean up for later. But then that's why we have Q-tips. 